Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you basically how to optimize slash debloat your Discord so it uses less memory and basically uses less CPU usage and less system resources. So obviously you need Discord installed to do this. So go ahead and install that if you don't have it installed already. And then once you have it installed, we're going to go to user settings on the bottom left. And then all you want to do is scroll down and you want to go to game overlay. Make sure this is off. You don't want to use the game overlay with Discord. The game overlay actually introduces just FPS drops, stutters, and just horrible input lag whenever it's enabled. So you really don't want this enabled. Then you want to go to advanced and hardware acceleration. You might already know to turn this off, but again, turn this off. And then we're going to go to voice and video, scroll all the way down and turn off debug lock. And basically, this is just useless and it's just used for Discord support for troubleshooting, which again, useless. So you could turn this off and then scroll up a little bit. This is part is going to be optional just because it might make your Discord screen sharing a lot worse. So if you're screen sharing your video game like Fortnite, Valorant, Call of Duty, or Apex, it is probably going to be laggy since it's not going to be using your GPU anymore for encoding it. So you could turn off hardware acceleration right here. And this, as you can see, the description right under hardware solutions says what it does so test around with this if you don't really care you can keep it off but if you care about your stream quality whenever screen sharing in discord keep this on and that's pretty much it for basically in discord settings so now we're going to move on to basically deep loading discord in order to optimize our discord fully we're going to be deep loading it Basically what this is going to do, it's going to strip out certain things that we disabled in the user settings in Discord. So all you want to do is just search up in your start menu, percent local app data percent, and then press enter. And then you want to find the Discord folder and then go to basically app 1.0, whatever number you have, it's this first folder right here. And then you want to go to modules right here. And then you could basically delete everything here except these ones. So all you want to do is press control A and then while holding control still, we can select the ones that we don't want to delete. So the first one you don't want to delete is discord desktop core dash one. And the second one is discord modules dash one. And the third one is discord utils dash one. And the last one is discord voice dash two. Now, Everything else you could delete. So all we're going to do is press delete on our keyboard and it's going to delete everything that we just did. And then we're going to go back and then we're going to go to local and then we could basically delete every single language in here except English. And if you don't want to do this for whatever reason, you don't have to, but basically you just press control A and keep English right here and everything else you could delete if you don't use a different language. If you do use a different language, know which one you are using from the file name. And if you realize which one it is, just do the same thing I did, but you could keep that specific language that you're using for Discord. And then that's pretty much it for optimizing slash debloating Discord. Now I just wanna open it up and actually make sure it's working perfectly fine. So I'm gonna open it up right here. It's gonna open up on my second monitor, but Basically, but this is for people that want to go the extra mile and not allow Discord to use any more system resources than it already has to. So this is really good for lower end PCs and higher end PCs that just want to run basically minimal everything. So if you like this video, comment down below what I should do next and subscribe to see more videos like this. And again, guys, I do offer a full PC optimization service where it does way more. You'll get lower input lag, better FPS, smoother gameplay, and all of that within the services I do. So I offer three services. You can take a look at each one of them on my website, but the best one is going to be the ultimate PC optimization. And if you want that, go ahead and visit zilli.as.me and book a time after selecting a service and we'll get it done at the time that you booked. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.